Hey guys, ready for another video of Tecmo? Then don't go anywhere as we will be showing the most incredible inventions that you can get for your car. The vehicle without a doubt is a magnificent machine that has never stopped evolving and reinventing itself since its inception. In many cases, the necessity to increase occupant safety or comfort on board is driving its evolution. Of course, these are not only the drivers of the invention, fuel, economy, and the desire to outperform the competitors, have also been factors that have propelled the automobile forward. Fortunately, the future is bright as we believe that the automobile will continue to evolve at a faster rate than ever in the next 20 years. While we are at it, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. And now let's talk about these car inventions, the steam engine. The steam engine is the hallmark innovation in automobile engineering, as well as one of the most significant byproducts of the industrial revolution. And it all starts back here. Steam pressure is used to propel the piston back and forth inside the cylinder in the engine. Thomas Savery developed a system in 1698 that used steam pressure to effectively extract water from flooded coal mines. Thomas Newcomen designed and installed the first practical and successful steam engine 14 years later. In 1775, James Watt improved the Newcomen's work and created a reliable engine. Steam engines were first used to power locomotives and ships before becoming improved for use in automobiles in the late 1800s when the external combustion engine was replaced by the less expensive internal combustion engine. The car engine progressed even further. Anti-lock brakes J. E. Francis who invented anti-lock brakes for railroads in 1908 is credited with invention for this technology. The concept first appeared in the 1950s in the aerospace sector and in cars in the 1970s and motorcycles in the 1990s. In 1928, German inventor Karl Wessel devised the first patented anti-lock braking system, but it never saw the light of day. Chrysler debuted four-wheel Schuer brake in 1971, the first computer-controlled four-wheel anti-skid braking system available on an American vehicle. It came standard on the Imperial in 1971. Anti-lock brakes have been modified with electronic stability control and are also known as electronic stability program or dynamic stability control. By sensing and decreasing loss of traction or skidding, this computerized system increases a vehicle's stability. Three-point seat belt. The two-point seat belt inventor is unknown. In 1885, Edward J. Claghorn received the first US patent for the seat belt, even though he defines it as having nothing to do with automobiles in his patent application. After that, the belts appeared in vehicles infrequently. Other sources claim they were employed in racing and airplanes before the 1930s. What is evident is that these lap belts were inadequate in terms of safety as the upper body would frequently fly forward unprotected in the event of a crash. The three-point belt created by Volvo engineer Nils Bolin to disperse deceleration energy following a collision over the passenger's chest, pelvis and shoulders took the seat belt into a safer zone. Volvo introduced Bolin's belt in 1959 and it initially debuted in the Volvo PV544. Volvo later made the patent available to the general public in the interest of public safety. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, seat belts save nearly 11,000 lives each year. Automatic transmission. This is referred to as a self-shifting transmission because it eliminates the need for drivers to change gears manually while the vehicle is moving. It not only benefits persons with disabilities, but it also makes driving with two hands more convenient. The story of the automatic transmission is one of the missed opportunities for Canadian Alfred Horner Munro. He invented it in 1921, patented it in 1923, and got patents in the United Kingdom and the United States in 1924 and 1927 respectively. Munro's original concept relies on compressed air rather than hydraulic fluid, as is the case with modern systems. A hydraulic fluid variant was developed by Brazilian engineer Jose Braz Araripe and Fernando Leili Lemos in 1932. In 1940, they sold their design to General Motors and driving was permanently changed. GPS GPS has changed the way practically everybody navigates. It not only removes the guesswork from locating your driving destination, but it also helps to increase the rarity and value of maps. The Global Positioning System, or GPS, was created by the United States government for use by its military forces. It was first debuted in 1973. The initial system, which utilizes 24 satellites, 
and was completely operational in 1995 employed 24 satellites. The Naval Research Laboratories, Roger L. Eston, the Aerospace Corporation's Ivan A. Getting, and the Applied Physics Laboratory, Bradford Parkinson are commonly credited with developing GPS. Since the 1980s, civilians have been authorized to utilize GPS resulting in its increasingly widespread use. Many modern technologies now incorporate the systems. Catalytic Converter It may be claimed that the catalytic converter is the most important automotive invention ever invented in terms of benefiting humanity. It improves the air quality by converting toxins and other pollutants into less dangerous forms. In 1975, the Environmental Protection Agency issued stronger rules on exhaust emissions in response to growing environmental concerns in the early 1970s. Eugene Howdry, a French engineer concerned about the smog and air pollution in Los Angeles, invented the catalytic converter. In 1962, he received a patent for his catalytic muffler. In 1973, the first production converter was released, which improved on Howdry's concept. Internal Combustion Engine Henry Ford did not invent the internal combustion engine, contrary to popular belief. The early 1860s innovation, which burns a mixture of fuel and air, is credited to Nicholas Otto. Because they didn't require a boiler or professional workers, these engines, which originally ran on coal gas rather than gasoline, were a huge hit. They could also be started fast with no need to wait for steam to build up. The internal combustion engine's key benefit was its superior weight-to-power ratio. This allowed the engine to power automobiles, planes, tractors, submarines, and tanks. In the 20th century, automobiles supplanted trains as the primary mode of transport for land. Ford's internal combustion engine did not get a patent until 1935. The installation of the first moving assembly line for mass production of automobiles was his most significant achievement. Airbags In 1951, American John Hetrick, the widely accepted inventor, and Germany's Walter Linder competed for the first patent for this life-saving innovation. Their systems used compressed air that was activated by a spring, bumper contact, or the driver manually. The invention of collision sensors assisted the widespread adoption of the technology in the 1960s. Several automakers put airbags in various vehicles in the 1970s, but they didn't become standard until the 1990s. Even today, an airbag's explosive force can cause friction and power burns, damage retinas, asphyxia, and even death, especially in youngsters. From 1987 to 2015, frontal airbags saved 44,869 lives in the United States, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Flashing Turn Signal Attempts to demonstrate a desire to turn have taken several interesting twists and turns. Percy Douglas Hamilton petitioned for a patent in 1907, which he acquired in 1909 from a mechanism that indicated the anticipated movements of automobiles. The lights were designed to look like hands so that other drivers who were used to interpreting hand signals might comprehend what they meant. Florence Lawrence, a silent film star, invented a mechanical signaling arm in 1914 but failed to patent it. She was also responsible for the invention of the first mechanical brake signal. When the driver pressed a button, a sign appeared on the rear bumper indicating which way the vehicle would turn. The Protect Safety Signal Co. invented flashing turn signals in 1920 according to Popular Mechanics from December 1985. Edgar A. Waltz Jr. patented the first modern turn signal in 1925 and attempted to sell it to major automobile manufacturers. They were uninterested, and the patent was eventually abandoned 14 years later. The Buick was the first car to use a flashing electric turn signal, which was patented in 1938. Cruise Control Ralph Teeter, an inventor and automotive hall of famer, invented cruise control even though he was completely blind. Teeter invented cruise control because he believed that driving at different speeds was a major source of accidents. In the 1940s, he noticed that his lawyer had a habit of slowing down while talking and speeding up while listening and driving. The system uses servo mechanism to assist the driver in maintaining a vehicle speed by taking control of the throttle. It originally appeared on American vehicles in 1958 on the Chrysler Imperial, New Yorker, and Windsor. Cruise control was standard equipment on all Cadillacs from 1960. During the 1970s oil crisis, it acquired even more popularity as a fuel-saving feature. In the early 2000s, radar was added to cruise control, marking yet another milestone in the system that has prepared the path for self-driving automobiles. 
With that, we come to the end of today's video. Do let us know in the comments section what you think of these inventions and if you want us to make a video for you. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on another great video from us. Check out our other videos while you're at it. Thanks for watching and until next time, have a great day.